Good morning, scholars. Today we're going to conclude our treatment of Lesson 3 of Farr's Homeric Greek, the first declension feminines. Um, where he'll talk about the accent of nouns and the forms of those nouns. Now, your accent of nouns, we'll just read from far here. The accent of a noun usually remains in all forms on the same syllable as in the nominative singular, or at least as near that syllable as the general rules of accent will allow. Thus, heros, nominative singular, but heroon, genitive plural, since that long final syllable of the omega nu pulls the accent forward. And we'll see that rule in a second. Words monosyllabic in the nominative singular when becoming dissyllabic by declension regularly have the accent on the final syllable in all the dissyllabic forms of the genitive and dative in all numbers, but keep the accent on the first syllable of all other cases. And we'll see this as well. It applies especially to third um, declension nouns, but we'll see this as well going forward. Uh, 643. An accented ultima in general takes the acute, but in the genitive and dative of all numbers, a long ultima, that's the final syllable, if accented, takes the circumflex. Thus, you have suke, nominative singular, but sukes, genitive singular, and suke, dative singular, etc. Okay. 166. When the ultima is long, the acute cannot stand on the antepenote, nor the circumflex on the penote. Okay? So, when the last syllable of the word is long, you can't have um, an acute on the final, on the, on the third from the last syllable, nor can you have a circumflex on the second from the last syllable. So, anthropu and doru are impossible. Okay? In anthropu, the acute would have to go over the omega, and in doru, that um, circumflex cannot exist because for a circumflex, it has, to be in a, it has to be an acute because for a circumflex to be on the second from the last syllable, the um, last syllable has to be short, and the omicron, upsilon, u is long. So doru is an impossibility. Okay? So uh, 167, and these are from Smythe. When the ultima is short, when the last syllable is short, the word, if accented, A on the ultima has an acute, B on a sh short penult, second from the last syllable, has an acute, and on a long penult, it will have has the circumflex. Okay, if it's accented on the long penult, it will have the circumflex. And if it's accented on the antepenult, it will have an acute. So you have sopos, an acute on the last syllable, nomos, an acute on the second from the last syllable, but doron, the circumflex has to is 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 can be on that second from the last syllable because the final syllable there is short. And then anthropos, the acute can go all the way back to the third from the last syllable because again the final syllable is short. Okay? So um we, you'll see these rules again and again. 168 of Smythe. When the ultima is long, a word if accented on the ultima has an acute or a circumflex, so you can have acute or a circumflex, ego, sopos, and if it's accented on the penote and the final syllable is long, it has to, it can only have the acute, leon, daimon, okay? So the key here, or the real important one to remember, kind of the core of it, is 167C, where 
you can only have a circumflex on the second from the last syllable if the final syllable is short. And the circumflex never goes further back than that second from the last syllable. Okay? So those are the general rules for the accent of nouns. Okay? Now, so, and here, uh, from another perspective, you'll see these same rules at work. So, again, it's my section 205. Substantives and adjectives accent in the oblique cases, and the oblique cases are the cases other than the nominative and the vocative, the same syllable as is accented in the nominative, provided the ultima permits. Otherwise, the following syllable receives the accent. So, in the first declension, you have talata, talates, talates, talatan, Dalatai, dalatais, dalatas. Okay, that syllable, the um, acute, is moving forward uh, when that final last syllable is long. Okay, two o six. The character of the accent depends on general laws. These are the laws we reviewed a, reviewed a second ago. Uh, so you have nike. Um, and nikai, that long iota, becomes a circumflex because the uh, alpha iota counts as short for purposes of accentuation. And then you have doron, again, circumflex, uh, where the final syllable is short. But daru, that circumflex has to give way and become an acute because the omicron upsilon is long. But then Dora, um, it can revert to the circumflex in the neuter plural uh, gifts. Okay, Soma, same situation, can revert, can be the circumflex. But Somatos, because you see with the acute, because the circumflex can't uh, exist any further back than the second from the last syllable. So since the accent wants to stay where it was, for the uh, neuter, the nominative singular, it will stay on the somatos, but it has to be an acute. And then somaton, that long syllable of the omicron, omega nu, pulls the accent forward. But then somata, the accent can go back to the omega because the tau alpha, the last syllable, is short. So these are just general rules, and they're they're pretty easy to get used to, but if you uh, uh, you should just be observant and review them from time to time. Okay, so as we've already seen, final alpha iota and omicron iota are regarded as short. So you have musai, bulomai, propali, anthropoi, but the optative alpha iota and omicron iota, and we'll learn about the optative down the road, um, are regarded as uh, short, long, so too um, in the uh, locative oikoi at home, um, it's regarded as long. So there's some fluctuation in how alpha iota and omicron iota are treated, but nevertheless, um, this is just something, it's not very hard to get used to. Okay, um, rule 207 in Smythe. Oxytones of the first and second declension are perispomena in the genitive and dative of all numbers. That means they have the circumflex on that final syllable. So you have skia, skias, skiai, skion, skiais, the os, Deu, deoi, deon, deois, baneros, baneru, baneroi, baneron, banerois. Now, we've only covered um, the first declension. In fact, we haven't even covered yet these first declension in alpha. So these words, just let it ride, even though they're a little unfamiliar. Okay, but this is important, 208. The gender plural of all substantives of the first declension has a circumflex on the omega of on. 
los nike nikon, dalata dalaton, polites politon, neanias neanion. Okay? Now, of course, that's not going to hold with the uh, Homeric variants of a on and e on, but this is speaking from the viewpoint of Attic, where you do have this convenient rule that the genitive plural of first declension substantives will always have that circumflex over the omega before the new. Okay. So, um, the inflection of the first declension in Homer, finally, here's our pay dirt. Um, and look at the right, what's right next to 659. This is, again, the lexical version of the noun, where you start with the nominative singular form, then they give you the, gen the ending of the genitive singular, and then they give you the definite article, a uh, uh, or the. Okay, so you have boule, boules, and then hey, which means desire, will, plan, counsel, or counsel. Okay, so that will decline boule, boules, Boule, boulain, o oh, boule, boulai, boulaon, boulese, boulas. Okay? Now, I, you have the note here, the word boule occurs in, in and of itself 50 to 100 times in the Iliad and the Odyssey. So, um, you know, these endings are just need to be mastered, and I really know no other way of mastering them than by writing them now out dozens, even a hundred times, and then practicing reciting the, um, you know, first the uh, singular boule, boules, boule, boulain, boule, and then the plural boulai, boulon, boulaise, boulas. Okay? Um, being aware of the variants of Homer in the uh, dative plural and genitive plural. Okay. Now, um, in Koine and in, or in New Testament Greek and in Attic, you don't have those um, Homeric variants in the genitive and dative plural. So um, these, uh, Nike and Puge, um, these are how they will be declined in um, Attic and New Testament Greek. So um, Nike, Nikes, Nike. Nikain, Nike, Nikai, Nikon, Nikais, Nigas. Okay? So you see in that gender plural, the um, omega takes the circumflex as that rule that we were talking about a second ago. And so, Puge, Puges, Puge, Pugain, O Puge, O Flight, Pugai, Pugon, Pugais, Pugas. Okay? So um, that concludes our treatment of the uh, third declension feminines, uh, lesson three of um, FAR. And it was a long lesson. I apologize for that. But there was a lot of background to the nouns. So uh, just be patient. In a couple of weeks, we'll actually begin to read Homer. So keep working hard, and I'll see you soon. Have a great day. Bye-bye.